Peterson. I am presenting calf development. Have you ever wondered where your milk comes from and how the animal it produces it grows? Well, we a lot of people drink milk, eat cheese, ice cream, and other dairy products. Today, I'm going to explain how ex the extensive process is for calves that grow up into cows and when they produce milk. Cattle are ruminants, which basically means they have more than one stomach and they use microbial actions in the stomach to take in the nutrients from their food. Some terms I'm going to go over because this might be a little bit foreign to people are a rumen is, which I kind of just covered, the division of a stomach where food is absorbed by papillae and regurgitated. Cows regurgitate their food about three times. A calf is a baby cow. A heifer is a, a cow or an animal before she has her first calf. And then a cow is an animal after she's had her calf. And a cow is kind of a general term, but it's also a very specific term. The ruminant calf has different, or ruminant, which is a cow, has different phases that it goes into. The rumen in the stomach is not fully developed right away. First it's a pre-ruminant, and then it's transitioning, which is when the rumen is developing. Last, it's a ruminant, and that's the final stage. The developmental stages of the body starts as a newborn, goes into a nursing, and then it's weaned, which is post-weaning. Yearling, the calf is about a year old, and then a cow is after she's had her first calf and the rest of her life cycle. During the newborn stage, they're from birth until about two weeks old. Um, they must get fed colostrum, which is the first milk that a mother animal produces that is full of antibodies. Calves are born without immune systems, so they need to have this milk to, in order to build their immune system up. Their rumen, hence pre-ruminant, is not working at all. Milk isn't even absorbed in the rumen. The rumen is only a, like uses plant-based matter. It has to be a grass, a feed, a hay. Milk goes right through it. As you can see, this is the rumen up here. And then milk goes right through it, right into the abdomen, which is the biggest part of their stomach when they're a baby. Uh, it can eat dry feed to help stimulate that rumen growth. While they're nursing, which is two weeks until they're weaned, weaning is removing them from drinking milk. They're nursing for about four to six weeks, and they kind of just growing during this stage. Their rumen is in the transition stage, which means it's developing, it's eating more feed, um, and it should not eat any hay. If you think of a cow, you think of them eating hay or grass. Baby calves that are still drinking milk should not eat hay or grass because it actually slows their rumen development down because it's not ready to absorb the nutrients out of that yet. Here I have a, a picture of different stages of a cow from newborn to mature. This is the stage that they're in right now, where the calf is not quite very big and the rumen, which is probably pretty hard to see, is right in there, which is it's getting a little bit bigger. Here is what a rumen would look like on the inside. This is what happens when it only drinks milk, and then this is what milk and grain, this is a developing rumen, and that's good. They develop little fingers in there that absorb the nutrients in the food. This is milk and hay. As you can see, it's not very dark like the other one, and that's not good. There's not as much surface area for it to absorb the nutrients. After the calf is weaned, it's about six to ten weeks of age. This is just a growing period for the calf until they're a yearling. They are now ruminants. They can eat hay, they can eat grass, and they absorb all the plant nutrient out of it. Now their rumen is fully functioning. Here is when they're born. As we see, the rumen is right in there, very small, 25%. Here, the rumen is the majority of the stomach at 80%, and that's after it's weaned and for the rest of its life. The yearling calf is a year old till about two years old. She's still growing, but they'll typically be bred when she's about 13 to 12 months old. The cows are pregnant for nine months, and she's still a ruminant here. They will be a ruminant until they die. And then last, they'll be in the cow stage, after her first calving. Cows usually calve at about two years of age. Dairy cows is when they're bred. Their first lactation, which is when they're producing milk in a dairy cow, is after they have a calf. 
out every time that they're bred and they have a calf, they go into a new lactation. And it just gets repeated. Here we have a picture of a cow with a newborn calf. And then here they're getting milked. And basically to go back over what we just talked about, they have three main ruminant stages, a pre-ruminant transition and ruminant. Pre-ruminants, their rumen isn't absorbing any plant-based food. Transition, their rumen is developing, it's starting to take in some of those nutrients, and then a ruminant, all their feed goes into the rumen first. It's regurgitated, and the small papillae, finger-like um, organs in there are absorbing the food. The growth stages, they start out as nursing, or newborn, then they go to nursing, post-weaning, yearling, and cow. The newborn calves are very young, drinking milk from their mother, and still drinking milk. Then they'll start eating more feed, which means they're nursing. They nurse for six to 10 weeks, and then they move into the weaning stage where they're weaned off of milk, they grow, they're not really eating any hay, they're just eating a lot of feed. And then the yearling stage is another, just more growing time for a, a young calf. She's developing more, growing larger, and getting bred. After she's had her first calf, she's then a cow, she can get milked. Um, milk goes into the store after it's been in a tank. Here we have a nice diagram of the, the system. It goes through the cow, eats feed, produces milk off of that. The milk then gets transported to the store where it's processed and packaged, and it's distribu distrib distributed to the store for a consumer to buy. And this happens in as little as two days. I know this because I have lived and grew up on a farm my entire life, and I work on the farm, and I like to help milk cows. I go to seminars where I learn more about this. And that is my speech. Can you please show the audience?